<laughs> yeah. Now, as we kind of wrap this up, I want to talk with the next steps of Aptera. So a lot of companies do interesting strategies with launching vehicles. Like you had um, a lot of companies usually have like a launch edition, launch edition which you uh, reference. Now, at least in terms of like battery capacity, because there were still four battery capacities. You had the 250, 400, and 1,000. Is there a specific version or variant that's going to be released first, at least with batteries and drivetrains? Or how is Aptera planning this? And what is the first one going to look like? Uh, the first one uh, will be the, the Luna exterior uh, and the, the Codex interior. Uh, so it's kind of like an orange uh, interior. Uh, we'll build at, at least probably 5,000 of those. So uh, all um, Luna silver on the outside. They'll all have 45 kilowatt hour battery packs, 42 kilowatt hours usable. Gets about 400 miles of range. So, you know, we picked the 400 mile range because that was the most popular uh, by far of people pe that people selected. Uh, we chose to go with the full solar. So you get the full solar package. That's the hood, the dash, the roof, and the rear hatch. 92 cells gives you about 700 watts of peak power. Uh, and that peak power goes right into your battery pack every day about 40 miles of range every day in the Southern California sun, 11,000 miles of free driving a year in Southern California. In Seattle, you get more like 8,500s. New York, you get like 8,500s. If you live in Ireland, you're probably going to be just south of 8,000, but it's not a very big island, so you can't go very far in Ireland anyways. So terribly useful range, even if you live in a more inclement space. And we want to build as many of those as we can. And then we'll start to offer the 250 mile range and maybe different colors. Uh, then we'll offer the 600 mile range and the 1000 mile range last. Uh, the 1000 mile range needs a little bit different uh, suspension components because it's heavier. Uh, and the, the belly pan's got to be a little different because the battery pack's kind of fat, hangs out of the belly a little bit. So you got to, hangs out like, uh, I think it's 30 millimeters. You got to have a little bubble. Can't really see it from a distance, but. You could have like some uh, cool uh, fish themed models, you know, you got uh, the, the little guy, the medium guy and the big fat fish. Big yeah, bass? Fat boy. Yeah, the big bass. <laughs> yeah, the yeah, uh, just... shape is actually very similar to a uh, bullnose shark when it swims along the seafloor. Something nature figured out millions of years ago was that as, as you swim close to the seafloor, if you put a pump in your back, it actually speeds up fluid to your tail and it sucks the... <laughs> pressure zone out from your nose so if you flat body the high pressure zone in front of your nose has nowhere to go so you just got to plow through it but you, but you camber your back a little bit it swoops up the air so you can kind of see the flow lines on the vehicle behind me there that's the idea behind the aptera is kind of there's there's this vacuum force that sucks the air at higher velocity to the rear of the vehicle and that that neutralizes the blunt force of, of your nose of your vehicle this whole vehicle's so aerodynamic that it's actually more aerodynamic than the side view mirrors on pickup trucks today. If you're driving down the freeway and you put two hands out your window, the pressure you feel on your two hands is about the total aerodynamic drag of the Aptera. That's insane. And just when you mentioned earlier, the battery size too. So like 42 kilowatt hour usable, but 400 miles of range. Just hearing that is just like, wow, that's incredible. <laughs> 